first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Well, if you're just about over the heat and humidity, which I bet most of us are, I have some good news as we head into your Labor Day weekend. We are going to slowly see relief in that heat and humidity, and that is all thanks to this cold front that is slowly going to move across our region tonight into Saturday. Now, along that front, it is going to stir up a little bit of some shower and thunderstorm activity. Not going to ruin the weekend, but you could get caught under a couple different rounds of some storms. We'll walk through that in just a second. Looking at our satellite radar, can see the clouds slowly starting to increase. We're still expecting to get into those mid to upper 90s, but the cloud coverage could help us stay a little bit cooler. I'm going to say cooler, but low 90s for us in some areas as those clouds continue to move in from the south southeast. We are keeping a close eye on those storms near the Farmington area, just north of the heartland. They seem to be moving to the north northeast, so they shouldn't impact the heartland a whole lot. We'll see if they continue to train and move into our area over the next couple of hours or so. As we continue through the afternoon, we're going to stay mostly dry today. We see those partly cloudy skies for our afternoon. As we get into this evening, still could see an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. I know our models aren't necessarily showing it, but can't rule it out for a straggler to form for this evening. We'll be mostly cloudy tonight and then as we head into Saturday morning, expecting a little bit more activity, some pockets of some heavier downpours, maybe even a thunderstorm or two Saturday morning through Saturday afternoon. It's going to be very scattered. Not everyone's going to see the rain. Not everyone's going to get caught under long periods of showers and storms, but if you step outside and you do get caught under a shower, just know it'll quickly move out and you should have plenty of dry time for Saturday. Now Saturday evening still could see a couple pockets of some storms, but for the most part we're going to start to calm down as that front pushes out. We'll see a little bit of some lingering cloud coverage and some storms to our southern half of the heartland for Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon until we really get those to filter out behind the front. We'll start to get a little bit more clear skies for Sunday evening and then that sunshine's really going to come out and about for Monday on Labor Day. So if you plan to be outdoors, I know there's a lot of activities going on across the heartland. A lot of people are probably planning on, you know, going to the lake, going camping, whatever you have planned. I do have Saturday down as fair because we have that increased chance for some showers and storms. Overall, it's still going to be fairly good. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday I have down in the good category. Again, could see a little bit of some lingering showers Sunday, but for the most part, I think we'll be good to go to be outside. And then Monday is looking great. 86 right now in Cape. Feels like 93. Still seeing a little bit of that humidity work in. We're waiting for those winds to shift. They'll start coming out of the north northwest as we continue throughout the afternoon as that front gets closer. And then those shower and thunderstorm chances increase late this afternoon, early evening. We'll see those scattered thunderstorms through tomorrow. Again, we will see plenty of dry time. Partly cloudy on Sunday. will be 86 come Monday. Mostly sunny winds out of the north. And then we'll stay in those mid to upper 80s through next week.